Now, although much of the focus nationally has been on police-involved shootings, which I think is vitally important, we forget about some of the other contacts with police that are harmful to more people than just what happens when um, police officers kill an unarmed person. We forget about the fact that African-American men are pulled over on a routine basis by police. You sit down and talk to black men about their experiences. A lot of the times when they're speaking about encounters with police is from a, a matter of fact perspective. Like, yeah, I was pulled over last week. Or yeah, I was pulled over three months ago. Or yeah, when I first got my license, this happened to me. Or I was slammed up against the car. Or I was beaten. Or I was taken to jail for 72 hours and I didn't do anything wrong. That's constant dehumanization of a segment of the population that goes completely unrecognized. And it's, although we're looking at what's been happening primarily since 2014, when Mike Brown was killed by Officer Darren Wilson in Ferguson, Missouri, this has been going on for a very long time, since before slavery ended. It's just that now we have greater access to technology greater access to videos, social media, to be able to tell our own narratives and to be able to show in real time what's going on. But this has been going on for a very long time. Even during the Civil Rights Movement, you look at speeches by Dr. King. There was one speech that he gave where he said, their police forces are the ultimate mockery of law. That was Dr. King, not Malcolm X. And there was a reason that he said that. Because if you look at the pictures during the civil rights movement where you have nonviolent peaceful protesters out there marching, carrying signs, and just standing up for their basic rights as a human being, you see vicious police dogs present. You see officers arresting people, beating people, taking them into custody. And not just adults and the elderly, you see this also happening to children who were abused at the hands of the police. Now, part of why this was allowed to happen, I would argue, goes back to the fact that we have not fully recognized the humanity of African Americans and other people of color. When you disregard the humanity of people, it's very easy to allow these types of abuses and travesties to happen on your watch and to do nothing about it or to assume that it's someone else's problem or to assume that the law is being followed or to assume that once this enters a system, the system is going to take care of it. Someone in the system is going to identify what's happening and address it. It didn't happen during the 1960s when people were being abused by police while protesting and it's not happening in 2016. 